Millions of South Africans still waiting to receive COVID-19 vaccinations. Many are wondering when they'll actually get the jab. One finding from a survey by Epsos and the World Economic Forum is that 61% of South Africans are keen to have a COVID-19 jab. Here's another thing. The number of people who are saying yes to vaccinations it seems to also be gradually growing in other parts of the world. Uh, South Africans are already receiving vaccinations. Linda Lomasigane spoke to another one of them, a veteran talk show host Felicia Mabuza Suttle, on how she received a jab in the United States. We're talking about drugs in the music industry. If she's South Africa's first talk show host, and due to the coronavirus pandemic, she hasn't been able to come home or see her children in over a year. But that could soon change. Felicia Mabuza Suttle, who's now based in the United States, has received her COVID-19 jab. As I walked in, I heard this girl's accent. I said, where are you from? And then she said, South Africa. I was like, oh, my God, we started speaking Afrikaans. I don't know if I allowed her to do the right thing because I was all over talking and she was like, relax, relax, relax. And uh, we got a vaccine. So how is she feeling? My husband and I have just been fine. Uh, we have friends in the neighborhood who have had it and they are fine. Mabuza Sattel says getting the jab has put her mind at ease. I'm feeling extremely invincible. I know, or maybe I should say cautiously invincible. <laughs> and would I get somebody else that I love to go and take it? Yes, I will. The odds are against you if you don't take it. She hopes South Africa will be able to recover from the perceptions of the country's variant so that tourism can thrive again. I hope everything ultimately works out in South Africa because we have one of the most beautiful countries and it's time to open our gates for the world to come in. Mabuza Sattel says she's lost family members to COVID-19 and believes taking the vaccine was the right decision. Slinda Lomasigan, Johannesburg.